Right, so this is eight things I wish I knew before starting to organize my music library. Now, the first thing I wish I knew was that you need to make sure that you have your music library in one location. I've spoken to so many DJs and the problems they always have is, oh, my music is my downloads, my music is in my, my documents, my music is here, my music is there, my music is everywhere. You need to have one central location where your music lives. Now, on my computer, I have a folder under my music folder called All Music. And inside there, I have, all my genre folders. So I've got R&B, hip hop, house, dance, or whatever. And inside there, I have all my tracks, all my MP3s. Now, this is the best way to have your music organized. There's nothing worse than having some of your music in your downloads, some of your music in your documents, then you open up Serato, and then if you delete something like your downloads, it's completely gone, it turns orange, and then everyone's stressed. Don't do this. Don't be that person. When you start organizing your music library, build one folder and put everything inside there. Don't be the DJ that downloads everything and just leaves it in there, it was gonna get you in a bad way because the amount of DJs now that are struggling with managing their music library is a joke. And the reason why I say keep it in one location is because it's easy to manage, it's easy to back up, and it's easy to move over to a different laptop, right? With the amount of laptops that are coming out now, the amount of MacBooks, M1, M2, M3, DJs are upgrading their laptops all the time. If you've got all your music in all these different locations, it's gonna take you a long time to move your music over. Now, I know a lot of DJs will just do a time machine backup and take their old computer to their new computer. But I feel like if you have a brand new computer, you will want to start fresh. Why are you bringing over files from your old computer to your new computer? You might as well just keep the old computer. So I feel like when you get a brand new laptop, you should start fresh. And if you have your music in one location, you can just pick it up, drag it, and that's it. You don't have to bring over your MP4s or your JPEGs or your documents or your invoices. You can just bring over your music. I wish I knew that before. Before I started organizing my music library because it just saves you a lot of time because I guarantee there is going to be a point where you're going to have to go searching for all your music and put it into one folder anyway so you might as well start off and do it. The next thing I wish I knew was metadata is very important. Now a lot of DJs will just DJ with tracks that have no artist and the, the title looking mad with loads of symbols, a web address in it and stuff like that. Like I do have really bad OCD so my Serato layout, my music library layout needs to look perfect. Every single track needs to have a title, an artist, a year, a genre, and some sort of comment so I know what kind of track it is. That makes my music library look nice. Now, if you don't have that, you just stress me out. Right. Why I say metadata is so important is because if you have your metadata set correctly, you really can organize your music library even more. Like say for example, you have the title and artist, you can look at your music library and it just looks nice. But if you've got the genre and year, you can create sub crates, you can create smart crates, you can create all sorts of different types of crates and playlists to help you out. Like say for example, you're gonna do an old school party. You can literally create a crate with the years below 2010. And if you just want R&B, you can have the years below 2010 and then the genre R&B. If you have your metadata sorted out in your music library, it makes your life a lot easier. Now, I've built a tool called Music Library Tools that gets the years and genres for the majority of your MP3s. Now, if you wanna check that out, check the link in the description down below. I'll also link a video on how to use it. Basically, that will help you out a lot with your music library organization. Now you probably could go and do it manually, right? Say for example, you're gonna go manually tag 10,000 tracks. So you'll go to a track in Serato, you'll go to Google, you'll type in that track, you'll get the year, you paste it in. How long is that gonna take you? About 15 seconds. Music library tools does it in one second per track if that. Save yourself some time, get MLT, check the link in the description down below. Metadata is very, very important for your music library. Another thing I wish I knew before organizing my music library was a clean folder structure is so essential. Now, like I said previously in point one, my music folder layout is pretty much my all music folder, then I have the genres and then I have the MP3s. Just have it simple like that and then do all your other organization inside your DJ software. Now I do all my organization inside Serato DJ Pro with a bunch of smart crates, sub crates, etc. But the main folder structure on my computer is very simple. All music, genre, MP3s. Now, I know a lot of DJs that do have all music, genre, year, artist, title, da da this, da da that, like it's too much. It's too much to manage because you have to keep up with that. You have to keep up with it if you wanna keep your music library organized. So the simpler, the better. So yeah, a clean, simple folder structure is very essential when you're organizing your music library. Now, one thing that is not spoken about enough 
quality control. I wish now this is this this is this this is actually one thing I wish I knew when I first started DJing, right? Quality control of your music library is so 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 important and I'll tell you why. I guarantee when you first started, right, you were downloading music off your record pools or downloading music or off wherever. You're downloading every single song. You're like, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. And I guarantee you don't play them. It's because you're not actually listening to the songs and determining if you're actually gonna play them. Every song that I download now, right, I go through and I'm like, is it an opening track? No. Is it a warm up track? No. Is it a main set track? Yes, download. I'll go through it again. Is it a warm up track? No. Is it an opening track? No. Is it a main set track? No. Why am I downloading it then? Am I ever gonna play it? No. So what is the point of downloading it? Now, so many DJs that I've spoken to have music libraries the size of Spotify's database, right? You do not need 90,000 songs in your music library. So stop downloading 90,000 songs, right? I have 13,000 songs on my, on my laptop and that is more than enough. I've actually got quite a few songs that I need to delete off of there. But what you need to start doing when you're downloading new music every week is actually listening and thinking, am I actually going to play this song out live. If you're not, don't download it because all you're gonna do in about a year's time is say to yourself, oh, I need to go through my music library and I need to, I need to delete all this music that I don't download. Come on, man, start now. If you're a brand new DJ and you're about to start organizing your music library, when you go onto your record pools, DJ City, Heavy Hit, if you want heavy hits for $4.99 for your first month, use DJ CB in the checkout. Yeah, when you're downloading new music off these record pools, yeah, don't download everything. You will not play everything in the club. I get it, you're gonna wanna download every single song underneath the sun because you wanna be this diverse DJ that has everything. But actually think, are you actually going to play this song? If you are, Download it, download the MP3, put it into your folder nice and neatly. If not, don't even bother. But yes, one thing I wish I knew before I started DJing was quality control is so, so important. Another thing I wish I knew before organizing my music library was you need to have multiple backups. There are so many DJs out in the world right now. There are DJs that are out, professional DJs that are 10 years deep that don't have a music library backup. If they was to lose their music library today, they could not DJ tomorrow right? Don't be that DJ. As a beginner DJ, I'm going to tell you, go out now and buy an SSD hard drive, right? I'm going to link the one that I have. I have the Samsung T7. I have a one terabyte one. I have a two terabyte one and I have a four terabyte one. They're all used for different things, but you only really need a one terabyte one. Back up your music library. Do not be that DJ that comes complaining on social media being like, I've just lost my music library because someone sent me folders. No, we're not going to send you any folders because you should have backed up your music library. Bit brutal, but people need to hear it. Now, I suggest that you back up every day or every week. If you have a cloud storage, like a Google Drive or a Dropbox, upload it to there as well. Yeah, the first one's gonna take a long time because you have a lot of music, but after that, it's just every song that you add to it, it's gonna update on the fly, so that's all cool. I mentioned about an SSD drive. Obviously, you can get an external HDD, but they're a lot slower. If you was to move over 100 gigabytes of music on an external HDD, it will take you about 40, 50 minutes. If you do on an SSD, it will take you about two, three minutes, right? When I changed over to SSDs, it literally changed my life. Because obviously a lot of DJs can't be bothered to back up their music library because it takes too long. If you have an SSD, it's literally as quick as that, right? So get yourself an SSD, it's gonna help you out. And another thing that not a lot of DJs say or mention, give your music library to a relative. Put it on a USB stick or an external hard drive and give it to a relative because God forbid your house burns down and your backups and your laptop dies, right? God forbid. So give your music library to a relative, a friend, or even another DJ, just in case anything happens to your backups and your main music at home. It's just a safety blanket, people right? You don't have to do it, but it's just a precaution. Obviously, if you got it in the cloud, it's cool. But obviously, the problem with the cloud is you need to download that music and put it onto the laptop. If you have an external hard drive, you can just go to their house, pick it up, plug it in, and do you know what I mean? So yeah, not a lot of people say it, but give it to a relative and just have it at their house just in case the worst happens. Another thing that I wish I knew before organizing my music library was research the tools that are online to actually help you with organizing your music library. Now, I'm only gonna go over this briefly, but there are tools out there called Crate Hackers, Lexicon, and Music Library Tools. They're all used to help you organize your music library, whether it's build playlists, whether it's get the years and genres for your tracks, whether it's cleaning up your titles, removing duplicates or whatever. So have a little research of these three, I'll leave them all linked in the description down below. And before even starting your music library, use these tools because it's going to save you a lot of time. I know that 
music library tools will save a lot of DJs time because a lot of DJs want the years and drummers in their tracks. Not everyone wants to go to Google and manually do it themselves, but music library tools will automatically do it for you. Create Hackers allows you to get the playlist from their site so you don't have to build playlists yourself. And Lexicon will do a whole load of stuff for your music library, like removing duplicates, cleaning up your titles and moving tracks from one location to another, or even moving from one DJ software to another. So if you wanna go from Rekordbox to Serato or the other way around, Lexicon can provide that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the links down in the description down below so you can check them all out. Another thing I wish I knew before organizing my music library was you should go through your music library every six months and give it a clean up. Now, again, a lot of DJs are lazy and they won't do this, but it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. The amount of DJs that are now panicking because they have 90,000 tracks and they wanna delete their music library because they haven't got enough space in their laptop, yeah. <laughs> go through your music library every six months. Go through your tracks and be like, am I actually gonna play this song anymore? No. If you're gonna if you're gonna play it, keep it. If you're gonna if you're not gonna play it, delete it, move it to a hard drive, or whatever. But you should also go through your tracks and demote them. So I'll, I'll explain to you what I mean. So in my music library, I have um, main set tracks, warm up tracks, opening tracks, and then a delete tracks folder. So I'll, I'll start in the main set and I'll go through the tracks and I'm like, if this song isn't main set anymore, I'm gonna demote it to warm up. Right? Then, if it's not warm up, take it to opening. If it's not opening or it's not any of those categories, delete it. Go through your music library every six months and then go through your tracks and just clean up. You're gonna be downloading new music every single week. So what you should do is go through every six months or however many months and delete some music just so you're, oh, what's the word? Just so you're kind of cleaning up on the go so you're not gonna run out of memory at a certain point and then you're gonna be struggling. Because there are DJs out there right now that are literally at the end of their storage on their music library and they they can't download new music because they have too much track. So they're going through on the fly trying to delete songs to just put that one song on. Don't be that DJ. Go for your music library every six months and it's gonna help you out a lot. This is the main thing that I wish I got told. Create playlists for every single scenario that you may face in the club. Now, as a beginner DJ, you're not gonna know what scenarios you're gonna face because you've never been in the club, but I'm here to help you out. Now, let me walk through a standard club night. You're gonna open up, no one's gonna be in there. So you need some opening tracks, right? Girls are gonna come in because girls are normally the first in the club. So you need a playlist for the ladies. Then you need a playlist for everyone to come on the dance floor. Because the example I always give, no guy's gonna come on the dance floor to single ladies doing this, right? So you need to have a floor fillers playlist, right? So create a playlist for that scenario. So if you play something like, this is how we do it, Montel Jordan or Usher, yeah, the guys are gonna come on the dance floor and now you've built a dance floor of guys and girls. Then you need to have a playlist for main set. But then you might need to have a playlist for or cooling down the club. You might need a playlist for getting the guys hype. You might need a playlist for the ladies main set. You might need a playlist for all these different things. Now, I can go through all the different scenarios in my music library, and I've got a bunch of videos on my channel that goes through my music library, and I'll show you exactly what kind of scenarios I face. So if you wanna go check them out, check my channel, and yeah. One thing I wish I did know before I started organizing my music library was you need to create players for every single scenario. If you have every single scenario covered, people, your music library is gonna be nice, and your life's gonna be a lot easier. Because you're gonna look at the crowd, because you need to read the crowd, and you can be like, you know what? There's a lot of girls on the dance floor right now. Let me go into my ladies' crate, yeah? Oh, it's a bit quiet in here tonight at the moment. Let me just play my my opening crate, yeah? Have a crate for every single scenario that you may face in the club, and I guarantee your music library will be nice, organized, and your life as a DJ will be a lot easier. So that was me going through eight things I wish I knew before organizing my music library. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.